Oh yeah, you know what time it is. We back with our boy Bob Sager. I'm so excited. And the Silver Bullet Band. Can't forget them. Um, this is Against the Wind. Now we this will be the third reaction into Bob. And um I gotta say, man, I've been thoroughly impressed with him. Um I wasn't the biggest fan of Night Moves. Turn the page is the one so far. But I recognize his his genius in just the two you know two songs that I heard. And so I'm very excited to hear more. Um again, this is Against the Wind. This is a lyric video. So hopefully that means the lyrics pop up on the screen. Uh last time we reacted to a lyric video, they didn't pop up on the screen. So um, hopefully they show up on the screen, but we can follow we can follow along with the lyrics on the screen. That's always a plus. And um, yeah, man, let's let's not waste no time, man. Let's get let's get into the magic of Bob Sager and the and the Silver Bullet Band, man. Let's go. Like yesterday, but it was long ago. Jane, it was lovely, she was a queen of my night. There in the darkness with the radio playing low, and, and the secrets that we share, the mountains that we move, caught like a wildfire. Nothing left to burn and nothing left to prove And I remember what she said to me How she swore that it never would end I remember how she held me all oh, so tight Wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then Against the wind, we were young and strong. We were running against the wind. And the years rolled slowly past, and I found myself alone, surrounded by strangers I thought were my friends. Found myself further and further from my home And I guess I lost my way There were oh so many roads I was living to run and running to live Never worried about paying or even how much I owe Moving eight miles a minute for months at a time So, once again, and y'all told me this is the case with all of Bob's uh, music, he's very story driven, he tells you the story, um, and unlike the, like, Night Moves and Turn the Page, I felt like he was more direct, this is, seems a little bit more metaphoric, um, but still is still story driven and at first well it's definitely about a woman at least up to this point um but it it seems like i at first i was thinking it was more of a relationship song but now it seems as though it's more of a, more of a um A more selfish, like me personally, I'm not the same without this person that I use that that I love and care about. At least that's how I'm picking it up so far. Um, to the song itself, the standouts is definitely the acoustic guitar and the piano. Um, I do like the drumming. It's just a nice, smooth vibe. 
It's a nice, smooth vibe. Um, it's if I had to categorize it, it's giving me a not folk rock and not country. Mm, yeah, I'll do folk rock. I'll do folk rock. It, 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 it's it's very tamed and laid back. And it has a, a country twang to it in some parts. And Bob's voice. What I love so much about his voice, at least from, from what I've heard so far. I can't categorize it. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I can't categorize his voice. It is definitely an alto. But it's, it's, and again, I don't know if he was the person I compared to Johnny Cash, but he, in some remnants, he reminds me of Johnny Cash in his songwriting composition and even in tone a little, a little bit, a young Johnny Cash, of course not hurt Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash hurt the song, not that Johnny Cash, but young Johnny Cash. Um, yeah, I, I really can't put my finger on who I can, who I could compare him to, but I really enjoy, I'm really enjoying this song. It's really laid back and I love the direction we're going and I love the animation and the anime, uh, the animations and the whole style of this video. I like it so far. I began to find myself searching. Searching for shelter again and again Against the wind Little something against the wind I found myself seeking shelter against the wind
Okay, he was about to go crazy towards the end. Yeah, I would love to know what how um, Wikipedia and whoever officially Billboard or whoever whoever makes these Wikipedia pages how they um, categorize this song against the wind. That might have been my favorite part. The last minute or so with the background singers. I would love to know if that was the Silver Bullet Band or some outside vocals. But I love that. Against the wind. Against the wind. A uh, song written for his 11th studio album of the same name. Against the Wind. Okay. Uh, released April 1980 through Capitol Records. It's labeled a ballad. Oh, no, no, no. Against the Wind is a mid-tempo soft rock tune with piano backing. Okay. Soft rock. I, I could agree with that. Heartland Rock. Heartland Rock is a genre of rock music ca uh, categorized by a straightforward, often roots musical style, often with a focus on blue collar workers and the conviction that rock music has a social or communal purpose beyond just entertainment. Hmm. Okay. See, I didn't know when deciphering when deciphering um songs and it's kind of sub genres and all of that. I didn't know that lyrical content influences what it is i thought it was more of a sound than the lyrics like in hip-hop a song if it has a certain feel it's drill even if they're not talking like so like if you if you know hip-hop and you know what drill music sounds like um even if the the words and the lyrics aren't necessarily of a drill nature. It could be categorized as drill. Um. So that's 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 interesting. Okay. Heartland Rock, and that's the first time I've ever seen that. It features backing vocals from Eagles co-frontman co Glenn Frey. What? Glenn was back there singing? Against the Wind explores the space between care and indifference from friends and loved ones. It centers on maturation and memories. Like many other Sega songs, and carries a tender, mellow tone. Sega pulled from his high school years as a cross-country runner to form the song's title, A Metaphor for Growing Old, Against the Wind. Gotcha. Reached number five on the Billboard Hot 100. It also charted in Canada, Australia, and Belgium. Wow, okay. It went platinum here in the States. They had Glenn back there singing. Wow. Let me see personnel. Well, okay, so... They only have Glenn here for backing vocals, but I heard more than one voice. So did they just double take Glenn? Or like, was it Glenn and Bob? Because they also have Bob as backing vocals. So I'm going to assume nobody in the Silver Bullet Band sung anything. And it was just Glenn and Bob kind of doing the vocals on the backing track. Okay. I can't believe they got Glenn up in here. 
And you got Glenn on the backing vocals for this song. That's amazing. I like that. Yeah, man. See, Bob... Bob's music, up to this point, it's not wowing me. It's not... I'm not having like a oh my God moment. It's good music though. You know what I mean? Like like I, I enjoy it. I think I've just gotten so accustomed to being wowed by something. And his vocals, if anything has wowed me, is his vocals. He has a very, very strong... Um, I hope I'm labeling him right. Alto voice. Y'all know I'm still learning the different, you know, vocal ranges and all of that. But he just has a very strong voice. That And, and it could be soulful towards the end where he was like, rah, rah, rah. Like, he, get, he, got, he got a little bit of soul in there. And I would love to hear more of that. Because I, I think the reason why Turn the Page is still my favorite up to this point. I think he really showed his vocal abilities and turned the page. Um, and so I, I, I think I'm kind of waiting for that to happen again. I think both Night Moves and Against the Wind is just good music, good vibes. But Turn the Page is the one. Where he was like, I got to sing and I got I got something to sing about, you know. So I think that's kind of the, the, the plateau that I'm keeping him on at the moment. And it's, that's why it's never good to go into reactions with expectations. You kind of just should just, you know. But that's kind of the bar that I have set for him. But I'm very intrigued and interested to hear more from him. So y'all request it and recommend it. And I'm definitely going to check it out. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Bob Sager. Peace.